guys, so today I am back again after what feels like the longest time ever of not filming um, just because I had been so so busy towards the end of my work that every day I'd just come home and crash, like that was it, I'd wake up, go to work, come home and crash. But I can finally say I'm on maternity leave. I am so, so happy and I absolutely cannot wait to film lots and lots of videos for you guys. So today I have got a makeup look for you. It's just this sort of um, corally, orangey, ready kind of look. You know what I'm like. I love my oranges and pinks and reds just because that's the colours that complement my eyes the most. So if you do have blue eyes, go for the oranges and the reds. All of these products are brand new to me so it is kind of a first impressions video as well. These are actually all bought by my fiance um, as a birthday present as it is my birthday this weekend. It is Thursday so my birthday is on Sunday um, but because they got delivered early, he was kind enough to let me use them early so that I can get my hands on and start filming. Um, so yes, first impressions video. Also, I have got a couple of products to review from Contour Cosmetics, which you will see in the video um, that they very, very kindly sent me. Um, but this is not a... You know, I'm not getting paid to say any of this. These are all my personal opinions. So, yeah, absolutely loved everything I got. Um, so, thank you so much to Adam, first of all, for all my birthday presents. And, um, yeah, let's get right into the video. Right, guys, so I've already made a start on my makeup. I have done my foundation and my eyebrows. I use my Maybelline Fit Me foundation and just a brow pomade on my brows. Usually what I would do after my foundation and my brows would be contour. Um, and actually for today's video, I have a very, very exciting product and it is from Contour Cosmetics. And can we just talk about the packaging? Like, how cute is this? So it's wrapped up in um, tissue paper and yeah, it's literally like absolutely insane. They were actually kind enough to send me two different palettes. I think they are in two different shades. Not that you can see very well on the packaging, but this one has like a number two engraved in it, um, whereas this one doesn't. So I'm guessing it's maybe one and two. I'm not entirely sure. But I literally, I, I really wanted to do this as a first impressions, but I've been itching to play about with it. So I have actually tried number one. And um, the only thing I will say is absolutely amazing product. However, with the packaging being white and me being the queen of mess, look at the state of it already. It's literally, I've got like fingerprints everywhere. But these are the colours in the first palette and they are a cream contour and they're absolutely amazing. These are the colours in the second palette which I believe are slightly darker. I put them next to each other. But they are both literally incredibly pigmented. And I mean, I'm one of those people that cream contour doesn't usually really sit very well on my skin. It just, I don't know where it goes. It just seems to slide off. But um, yeah, so I'm going to be still playing about with this first palette because I feel like with it being slightly lighter, it suits my skin a bit better. So I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is the one that I have been playing about with already. And what I love about these is they're such a warm kind of contour because I don't personally suit like more muddy and kind of cold toned contours. I have to go for warm tones. You can literally see how insanely pigmented that is already. So what I like to do is just pack on as much as I can under my cheekbones the top of my forehead all around the hairline and then I like to go down my jawline as well literally where sort of if you were to tan in the Sun where it would naturally hit and 
then just a little bit down the sides of my nose as well. And then once you look like something that's escaped out of a mental asylum, um, I would get my beauty blender and just pat that all in. And it literally blends so easy, it's actually incredible. Once that is all blended in, and as you can see, it literally looks so, so natural. I absolutely love it. I'm going to go in with this lighter shade down here, um, just to go under my eyes and highlight that area a little bit. So what I do is I just pat it on with my finger to start off with. It's literally such incredible quality, it's insane and a tiny bit on my forehead and just down the bridge of my nose and on my chin. Now I just get my foundation brush and just buff it all in. I'll make sure I link this exact palette for you as well, which is more for fair skinned people. And then I will link this number two, which is more for obviously darker people. Um, although saying that, these highlight colours are very, very light in this palette as well. But um, yeah, I will link both of these down below and make sure you go check them out. Literally, the quality of these, I cannot even explain. So yes, thank you so much Contour Cosmetics. So just to set all of that in place, I'm going to be using the Collection Contour Kit, but I'm going to be using the contour shade just to set the cream contour in place, just so that it doesn't slide off of my skin. And once again, another Real Techniques brush. Just tap off the excess and then just go underneath my cheekbones. Now, the colour of this is absolutely beautiful, it's so, so natural as well, however, I will say that to build it up, you have to use quite a bit of product with this, which, for especially for people that are beginners, isn't necessarily such a bad thing. I would say to always go for slightly less pigmented contour if you're only just starting off, because it can be quite heavy on your skin. Um, whereas this, because you have to build it up, it's a lot easier to get more of that sort of natural look. Um, but I'm really, really impressed with this as well. It's really, really lovely. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to eyeshadow. And for eyeshadow, he has done an amazing job. Like, literally, he couldn't have picked better sort of like palettes that are more versatile. So, he got me these two MUA palettes which oh my god can we just take a minute and talk about the colours so this one here is the Tropical Oceana um, and there are how many 25 all like sort of different bright colours in there and like how gorgeous are they um, so on the back it just says all the names of the colours which I absolutely love because if I remember correctly MUA never used to do names for their colours um, which obviously they do now and I mean look at these like you can see I've already swatched this one because I couldn't wait but hello like how pigmented are these and like the shimmer colours are so so beautiful um, and then the mattes as well. They are all so pigmented. It is absolutely unreal. Um, so there's that one, which I cannot wait to try. The other MUA palette is this one here. It's called the Burning Embers palette, 
once again 25 shades mix of mattes and shimmers and this is literally if you know me this is my sort of colors so there's like all your natural nudes down the bottom which are so versatile they work with absolutely everything and some really nice pearly champagne shimmery colors and then this end is all sort of like reds and oranges which I absolutely love and obviously because I've got blue eyes it goes with my blue eyes and the third palette that he got me is this I Heart Makeup Chocolate Rose Gold palette and oh my god are you ready for this guys are you actually ready look at these colors here Like, sorry, what? How can he even pick these for me? Like, how does he know what I like? But once again, all your sort of like oranges and reds and once again, shimmers and mattes mixed together and the pigmentation on these. Like, I'm just literally lost for words. But look at that. What even, what even are they? Like, look at this watch on my arm. Okay, so to start my eye look with, I'm gonna be using this Revolution Focus and Fix Eye Primer, which once again, Adam picked by himself. I'm so impressed. I just thought, oh my God, how do you even know what eye primer is? And with eye primer, I usually tend to go like, literally right up to my brow bone as well. <laughs> Okay, so I'm quite liking the feeling of this. Um, it's not too sticky, but it feels sort of sticky enough for the eyeshadow to be able to stay on. For my transition shade, I'm going to be going in with the Tropical Oceana palette, and I'll be using this orangey shade at the top here, which is called Ecstasy. Oh my god. This is so pigmented. Like, how even is this possible? I find that these colours aren't very powdery, which is really good. They're quite nice and creamy and easy to blend. So I absolutely love that. So next colour I'm going to be using is going to be from the Chocolate Rose Gold palette. And it's this colour right here, which is called Uh Oh. And I'm just going to still keep it close to my crease but just a little bit lower and just really, really build it up. Right, I've always, always loved um, like Revolution palettes and the I Heart makeup ones. But this is just something else. I'm obsessed. <laughs> and then just to darken the very, very outer corner, I'm going to be using a mix of these two colours, which are Backup and Side Chick.
Okay, so now that we've got to this point, if you have been on my channel before, you will know that I'm a huge lover of the half cut crease or even a cut crease. So once again, that's what I'm gonna be doing today, just using my trusty collection concealer in there. So on the outer edge of my cut crease, I'm going to be using the colour Lux once again from the rose gold palette, just to blend this line together. Oh my god, it is so pigmented. Through the middle part, I'm going to be using the Burning Embers palette and this shade here which is called Energy. And once again, it's just such a beautiful foiled colour. And then for the very inner corner, I will be using this shade right here, which is called Paradise from the Tropical Oceana palette. Okay, dokes, so I have just added some eyeliner, which is just my trusty Maybelline Master Ink. I've also put a little bit of the colour Paradise, I've put that underneath my eyes. So now the last thing I'm going to do is just finish the eyes off with the MUA Volume Mascara. Um, it says High Impact Magnifying Mascara. Haven't tried it out, so we'll give it a go. So far so good, I mean it's a volume mascara and it most definitely does volumise your lashes. It is so good and it's super super black as well which I find that some mascaras, although they're black, they're not actually as black as you want them to be. Now that is pretty much my face and my eyes done. So the next thing that I'm gonna try out is this e.l.f. Matte Magic Setting Spray. Um, I am still putting on highlighter, however, this is why I've chose to put this on now, just so it can make my face matte, and then once I put the highlighter on, that won't then go matte. Now I'm really impressed with the fact that it has no smell to it because I know some setting sprays can smell really, really horrible. And also, I feel like it hasn't made my skin feel very tight, which a lot of them tend to. For highlights, I am absolutely spot with choice. We have got the MUA Luxe Strobe and Glow Kit. I don't know how much you can see, Strobe and Glow. Um, now this, is perfect because it comes in a little compact like this um, and it is in the shade pearl gold so the top bit has a little mirror in that and a very very subtle highlight powder which I mean it's still it's a gorgeous color you then lift up this bit here and oh my god look at that so this is obviously a cream highlight like it's such a beautiful color so i think what i'll do is i will use that as a base um just so that the powder highlight has something to stick to so i'm just gonna pat that on which already you can see it's given such a gorgeous glow so this goes on the tops of my cheekbones and I'm just using my finger so that I can just pat it into my skin. I'm absolutely itching to try one of these out. So this is the Revolution Highlight Palette which comes with three different highlighters. So there's that and I have done some swatches on my hand just to show you how beautiful they are. Are you ready for this guys? Oh my god, that is actually gorgeous. I 
feel like a little glazed donut. How gorgeous are these? So, yeah, the highlighters get a massive, massive thumbs up. All three of these. So, I love this for the cream one as a base so that it's slightly sticky on my skin. Um, and then these two, or these six even, because there's three in each, absolutely insane. I'm going to be using this one here, which is a Revolution lipstick in the shade Nude, just because obviously Nude goes with everything. And it is a really, really pretty nude as well. So there's just the lipstick by itself. I'm gonna go over the top with this lip gloss, which actually on camera looks quite a dark color, but it is such a gorgeous corally kind of light color. And actually, in fact, it is called coral. So um, let's see if you can pick up on any of the little specks in there. I'm really, really impressed with the lip gloss as well. It is such a lovely texture. Um, I don't like lip glosses that are too sticky because I find that my hair always, always gets stuck to them. However, this one is just a really nice texture. It's not too sticky, but it's not dry at all either, and it looks super, super glossy. I really hope you enjoy this look as much as I loved filming it, because I'm absolutely obsessed with all these products. And if you manage to get your hands on any of these, I think all of them, apart from the Contour Cosmetics products, are all from Superdrug. So if you go through the Superdrug website, or even in store, you will be able to find them. And I will link the Contour Cosmetics um, website, the palettes and their Instagram account below. Make sure you do go over and give them a follow um, and if you get the chance to try out all their palettes because they are incredible. And thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.